Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have something very special to show you guys. This is the most expensive gaming laptop that I've ever unboxed on my channel. It costs around 2 lakh 6 thousand rupees. This is Asus's ROG Zephyr SM. It's an ultra slim gaming laptop with GTX 1070 graphics inside. I'm very excited for this video so let's get started with the unboxing. The ROG Zephyr SM comes in this sort of box packing. It's got the Republic of Gamers branding on the front. That looks really cool in red color and one more nice thing is it also supports NVIDIA G-Sync technology to provide super smooth and seamless visuals while gaming. Ok let's get started with the unboxing. So the laptop comes packed like this, let me just take it out. By the way the model of my laptop is GM501GS which comes with the GTX 1070 8GB graphics card. There's also a cheaper variant that comes with a GTX 1060 graphic card. So in the box you get these two packages, I guess we've got the laptop in this package and there's also one more box over here, must be for the accessories. Alright let's check out the laptop. Let me take this box out of this foam packing and here it is. Oh my gosh this box is so heavy. It looks very premium and for some reason it kinda reminds me of PlayStation. You've got the beautiful ROG logo on the top and it says Republic of Gamers on the front. Looks like there's nothing much written on it. So let's open the box and check it out. Whoa so here it is our ROG Zephyr SM. Wow just look at that beast. I'll show you the laptop in a moment, first let's see what else do we get in the box. There's a small box with the Republic of Gamers logo on it. I wonder what's inside this, let's open it and see. Ok you've got one more box inside and a sheet full of stickers. On the box it says welcome to the Republic of Gamers followed by a brief intro about ROG. Make sure to read that and on the inside we've got some paperwork and an ROG keychain. Let me give you a closer look at this awesome keychain. So those are all the items we got in that big box. Now let's see what's in this other one. I'm most probably guessing there's a power adapter in it. Let's just open it and see. Yep, I was right. You get a mains card for the power adapter and a 230 watt AC adapter for charging the laptop. So these are all the items we got in the package. Now let's check out the laptop. I have to say the laptop definitely feels heavy in the hand. It weighs around 2.2 kgs. And this is how the Zephyr SM GM501 looks like. Oh my god, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Just look at that finishing. And also guys, this thing is only about 1.7 to 1.99 centimeters thick. Like how did they manage to fit in a GTX 1070 that to eat a cooling system in it? That is just crazy. And over here you got the name of the laptop, Zephyrus. Pretty awesome right? Now let's talk about the design and the build quality. The Zephyrus M is an ultra slim premium gaming laptop that is powered by an 8th gen Intel i7 8750H CPU and a GTX 1070 GPU. The build quality of the laptop is solid, it's entirely made of aluminum, there's also an ROG eye on the right side in chrome finishing that glows in red when the laptop is on. And the top panel has a two-tone brushed aluminum finish which Asus calls as black titanium, gives the Zephyrus a unique and sophisticated look. And at the bottom you've got the Republic of Gamers branding. Now let me show you what's on all the sides. On the right you've got a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port, a USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port, a big exhaust and a Kensington lock. On the other side you've got one more fan exhaust, a DC in port, a HDMI port, 3 more USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports and a 3.5mm audio jack. And this is how the back looks like. It's got a super slim body with the Zephyrus logo at the center. Now let me show you the different status LED indicators. You've got a HDD indicator, a charging indicator and a power indicator. And this is how the bottom of the laptop looks like. You've got the ROG branding over here as well. It's got some rubber foot pads on all the corners and has lots of exhaust on both the sides. Now let me open the laptop and show you the inside. The Zephyr SM has a unique active aerodynamic system. Opening the laptop reveals an underside exhaust at the rear that leads to a 9mm high air chamber. This design provides more air circulation, increases the airflow and reduces the overall system temperature. Not only that, this rear exhaust is also equipped with red lights on both the sides which give it that premium gaming feel. Now talking about the screen, it has a 15.6 inch full HD IPS panel with 72% NTSC color gamut. And the best part is this display has a 144Hz refresh rate with 3 millisecond response time and NVIDIA G-Sync support. And at the top it has some sensors and a 720p HD camera. Talking about the bezels, they definitely look a bit thick. And coming to the bottom part, it's got a full RGB backlit chiclet keyboard and has lots of densely packed holes above that to cool down the system. I really love the level of detailing the company has done on this laptop, especially these plasma copper accents all around the body. 
Now let's talk about the keyboard. The GM501 has a four zone full RGB backlit chiclet keyboard with highlighted WASD keys. This laptop also supports R Sync and the RGB lighting effects are fully controllable, including the brightness and the speed. The keys feel really soft and comfortable while typing. They have a perfect key travel of 1.7 mm and a key cap curve of 0.2 mm. It's one of the best keyboards I've seen on a laptop till now. The brightness of the RGB lighting is also adjustable using the function button, just like this. And talking about the trackpad, it's a premium glass trackpad and feels super smooth while using it. There were no dead zones and the quality of the buttons was also good. They felt tactile and clicky. Now let me tell you about the display. The ROG Zephyrus M has a 15.6 inch full HD IPS panel with 72% NTSC color gamut. The display quality was very nice. The detail and the sharpness was on point. The colors looked rich and vibrant. The contrast was great and the white balance was also perfect. The display was also quite bright and good for gaming. On the overall, it's one of the best displays I've seen on a gaming laptop. And what makes this display special is that 144Hz refresh rate with 3 milliseconds response time and G-Sync support. Everything looks so smooth on it, trust me, it takes the gaming experience to the next level. And about the audio, this laptop comes with stereo speakers each of 3.5 watts and are powered by smart amp technology. The audio quality is nice, it's crisp and clear and produces decent bass. The distortion was also very low, but the audio output could have been slightly higher. Just check out this sample. All those modes, I really love the microscope mode on it. Using that mode, you can take photos from super close distance and get beautiful macro shots. The results were amazing. Just check them out. The TG5 is great for travel and street photography. The viewing angles of the screen were also nice. It has a 178 degree wide viewing angle and the picture looked the same no matter from where you see it. Talking about the performance, the Zephyrus M is powered by an 8th gen Intel i7 8750H 6 core 12 thread CPU clocked at 4.1 GHz, has a GTX 1078GB graphic card, comes with 16GB DDR4 dual channel RAM, has an NVMe M.2 512GB SSD, and 1TB Firecuda SSHD. I've run some benchmarks. On Geekbench 3, it got a single core score of 3619 and a multi core score of 19825, as expected from that high end i7 processor. Now let's jump into the gaming section and talk about the performance. The Zephyrus M is a very powerful gaming laptop. The performance on this thing is like next level. I've played a lot of games on it and most of them were running buttery smooth at ultra graphic settings. First let's check out the gameplay of Crisis 3. I'm playing this game at 1080p ultra graphic settings, just check out the gameplay. By the way I'm using an Xbox joystick to play the game. So let's see how it performs. The game feels buttery smooth at ultra graphic settings. On an average, I was easily getting around 80 FPS in this game at the max preset. And thanks to that 144Hz panel with G-Sync, there was no visual tearing, lag, ghosting or any sort of stutter. The gameplay experience was amazing. I've also played other games like Just Cause 3, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and the frame rate was averaging around 55 to 60 FPS at max graphic settings. Talking about the heat, the laptop definitely heats up in like 10 to 15 minutes while playing AAA title games, but the cooling system on it is quite powerful and effective. It keeps the heat down, but at the cost of some fan noise. The fan noise feels pretty high, especially in a silent room. But once you start playing the game and get involved in it, it's quite hard to notice. Here's one more benchmark video that I ran in Far Cry 5 at ultra graphic settings. On an average, I was getting around 81 FPS which is more than enough to have an excellent gaming experience. Now let me tell you about the battery life. The GM501 has a 55Wh battery and the battery life was not that good just like any other high-end gaming laptop. 
If you use it to play high-end graphic intensive games with the brightness set to 75%, then you'll only get around 25 to 30 minutes of battery life. But other than gaming, if you use it for stuff like browsing the web or watching videos on YouTube, you'll get around 2 to 2.5 two hours of battery life. There's also a special ROG software on it, using which you can switch from GTX 1070 to the integrated GPU and also turn off G-Sync. So with this Optimus mode, you can squeeze out a little more battery life than the usual. So that was my review on the ASUS ROG Zephyr SM Ultra Slim Gaming Laptop. The build quality is great, the design is excellent and gives extremely satisfying gaming experience. The only thing is the sound output could have been a bit higher and the battery life could be improved. Rest everything else was top notch. The model I have with the GTX 1070 costs around 2 lakh 6 thousand rupees and the cheaper variant with the 1060 costs about 1 lakh 64 thousand rupees. I'll just leave links to them in the description box below. You can check them out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.